As Russia's war against Ukraine drags into its second year, fractures within political parties in Congress are starting to show. Some Republicans say the U.S. has failed to provide enough weapons to Ukraine in a timely manner. This hesitation has only prolonged the war and driven up the cost in terms of dollars and lives. Uh, this conflict must end, and the president must be willing to do what it takes to end it with victory. Other Republicans tell VOA the U.S. has spent too much on the war. I think we should wind down our support for Ukraine. Democrats also disagree on how to spend the money. Take the hot-button issue of whether the U.S. or NATO should provide Ukraine with F-16s. Ranking member Adam Smith says aid money would be better spent on air defense systems. No blank check means no blank check. It means we don't just send everything that people ask for in the blink of an eye without even thinking about it, okay? We think about it and we get the Ukrainians what they really need. While others say the U.S. should train Ukrainian pilots on F-16s now. Let's get them trained first and give the flexibility to the United States and our NATO allies to make that decision later if they so want to. The head of Ukrainian military intelligence now telling VOA that F-16s aren't the aircraft best suited for the fight. We need attack aircraft. F-16s and similar platforms are not attack aircraft. American assault aircraft is first of all A-10 Thunderbolt II aircraft, attack helicopters. And as the war continues, U.S. administration officials say they are anxious to get new weapons into the fight for Ukraine while replenishing munitions for the most effective weapons on the battlefield. If Russia is successful in Ukraine or is seen as successful in Ukraine, it will embolden other aggressors elsewhere to do similar things. One of many reasons U.S. officials vow to support Ukraine for as long as it takes. Carla Babb, VOA News, Washington.